In this advanced rigging tutorial, we are having a look at how to create a flip indicator. Now, what exactly is a flip indicator anyways? Well, certain times when you are animating in cutout animation, you'll have to get your character to turn around. And depending on whether or not your character has asymmetrical elements to him, it might be possible for certain things to pop. Well, for instance, the tie of my character right here has stripes that are um, over uh, on the upper left corner, all the way down to the lower right corner. And when I flip my character right here, you can see that the tie's stripes aren't facing in the right direction. Now the flip indicator will help us for this so that animators don't have to always go and check their model sheets. They will see right away that the tie is facing the wrong direction. Now the first thing that I need to do for this, I'm just going to go back and reset my position uh, for my character. I'm going to go on the tie. So O2 center on selection. I have the tie right here. I'm going to create a second drawing. I'm going to create by duplicating my current drawing. And I'm going to go into my drawing tools right here on the line art layer. I'm going to select my tie and I'm going to flip it. You have uh, options to flip inside your tool properties of your um, select tool. So I usually go from here. So flip horizontal and I'm going to adjust a little bit to have them facing uh, the right direction. So right now I have two types of tie, one with the stripes facing this way and another one with the stripes facing the other way. So I'm going to rename that drawing. Right now the previous one was QF1. I'm going to call this one QFF1 for flip. I'm press OK. And I'm going to do the same thing for my front tie. I'm going to come and duplicate my drawing. I'm going to grab this and flip. We're going to rename this one F underscore F1. So now at this point I have four different drawings in there one with the stripes facing each way. And I'm going to use the overlay layer to use my indicator. Now, since I want to be using the overlay layer, I want to split my tie level right here. So I want to go into my node library. I'm going to bring in the line art to see just the tie right here. And I don't necessarily want to have it on a separate drawing layer, so I'm going to bring in my overlay layer right here. And I'm going to come and connect it above the tie. So bring it all the way in front of your tie. So I have line art and overlay. At the moment, I have no information in the overlay whatsoever. And I'm going to come and put that in now. So what we want to do at this point, I'm going to go on the overlay and turn on the preview all art layers. I'm going to go and take my brush and I want to trace something that I will know automatically if it's facing the wrong direction. Now, what exactly could we have? Well, we could have a letter, for example, flip. We have the F letter that would look kind of off if it was flipped over to the other side. So I've created an F right here. I can even put it a bright color that already exists in my, uh, in my color palette. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to copy it over to my QFF1 drawing, paste it, 
and I'm going to flip that letter over to the other side. Now I'm going to be doing the same thing for my other two drawings that I have in the front view. I'm going to paste that F. I can have it on top, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to paste and flip. So it's facing the wrong way. So now what I have is pretty much this. I have flip with my tie facing in the right direction with the tie, this one with the tie facing in the wrong direction and same thing for front. I have both of my ties right there. So now technically if I go to my second frame and I want to flip my character so that he's facing the other way. I'll just put a minus one in the X value right here. So now as you can see the F is facing the right direction and so is my tie. The stripes are constant while I flip and the indicator allows me to know uh, with uh, certainty that I have the right drawing active. Now if my animator had forgotten, he would see right away, well the F isn't facing the right way so I need to change that drawing to have the proper one. But now if I render this out, I can see that F and I don't necessarily want to so what I'm going to do is use my separate layers to go and get a visibility node I'm going to bring that in, attach it under the overlay, and I need to go inside my layer properties. I'm going to uncheck soft render, and now I should be able to render this out without seeing the F, so the animator can see it when he's working on it, but doesn't have to bother about turning it off when uh, he gets to the, uh, the actual rendering rendering stage. So now that we have our system up and working, uh, don't forget that we have a deformation set up for the first drawing, so the QF1 drawing, but we don't have one set up for the second drawing just yet, so make sure that you go and use the same transformation as the tie. So now it's using the same one and in transformation, in uh, the second drawing we want to be using the deformation chain number two, so I'm going to set it here and there we go. Now we have both of our drawings using the same deformation. And that is how you create a flip indicator. Now luckily for, for us we only have uh, now luckily for us we only have the uh, tie that is asymmetrical in this case. There are a lot of um, cases where you'll get characters that have different pieces of hair that change depending on the angle it's facing. So this is a pretty good way to, um, to do it without uh, getting too messy with having a uh, hundred different uh, handles or thingies that are indicating and especially without having to uh, have to go into a model pack to make sure all the time that your things are facing the proper direction. So I hope that was helpful and I will see you in the next level.